Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. All right, this is it, Jen. It's our last day. We are headed back home. But not until we have breakfast somewhere special. Yes. So we've got breakfast coming up at a nice new fancy place. You can probably figure it out from just that clue alone, but also looking at the description or the title of our video. Anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going to go to breakfast and give you guys kind of a little bit of a brief shot or a couple shots of the hotel and breakfast. We'll review it and see how it is. And we might have some visitors with us for breakfast. Some certain characters dressed in fancy clothes. We'll see. Stay tuned.
at Topolino's in the Riviera Resort. Um, it's the character meal um, with Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, and Donald. It's a prefixed menu. Um, the characters come to your table one at a time to do pictures, and we're really excited about this. And we are joined with our good friends, Arianne and Steve from New York. Say hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Now they have to watch our vlog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a few different items here on the menu. Got some um, cocktails at the top. Cocktails without alcohol, right below that. This is a fixed price menu. Comes with assorted pastries for everyone to share. The uh, entrees, we've got a good selection of different types of food, including wood-fired butcher steak. Then you have coffee, and they do have a couple of these little souvenirs that you can take home. Headbands, characters, autograph book, and here are the prices. Adults 42, guests ages 3 to 9, 27. Includes juice and freshly brewed coffee per guest. Now if you do want the French press, that is a little more. Which that's what I'm getting, the French press. But kind of going back and forth between the steak and the quiche. But Jen is going to get the sour cream waffle. I think she's already decided. Start with the uh, bread service. We have, do you remember what's in here, Jen? I mean, it looks like it's a little bit of everything. Um, it looks like there's some chocolate chip muffins. Well what do you think there's chocolate chip muffins? What else? Just pastries. Yeah, I'm not there's sure which there's ones, a but then in there? it has, I think it's Nutella over here. Oh. Well, what are these two? Strawberry? A strawberry something and a honey butter? Yeah. yeah. All right, food is here. I got the um, quiche gourer. There's Jen's waffles. Sour cream waffles with fruit, bacon, roasted apples, and bacon. Wow, excellent. So you're a painter and a chef? OMG. I had no idea. We will spread the word. <laughs> 
Oh, yes. You painted that, I see. Yes. They're adorable. They are adorable. I like that they're different colors. You see different colors all over the place. And I can see, well, I can see from your apron that you use a lot of Attenzione, good people of Topolino. <laughs> As you well know, writers from all across the globe flock to the Riviera, taking inspiration from the muses of the water's edge. Take a picture. With a pause from the pen, please welcome our poet in residence, oh Signor Mimmi Mouse. What should we give my client? He left. Jen, we're back in the car. We were uh, going to try to do the review uh, inside, but it was kind of noisy. There were a lot of people outside. It's uh, really windy today. And it's it's cold. cold. Yeah, I guess technically it's still warmer than home, but yeah, and it's, it's sunny and there's not a cloud in the sky. No, it is. Yeah, it's just it's uh, a beautiful day. It's just really cold, and yeah. I'm getting sick. And yeah, it's about 50 degrees today for currently high of 52. So it's really cold for Florida, but it's gonna you know. Uh, jump back up again uh, so you know we had really nice weather the first several days it just really was yesterday and today that uh, yeah. got cold but anyway we wanted to do a quick wrap up of Topolino's um, it was really good I think it's my uh, new favorite character meal it was 
again, you know, you pay certain prices for the characters when you do character dining, and sometimes then the food or the atmosphere is not, it's that's secondary. This, it's not the case at all. The restaurant is really nice. The views are excellent from up there. It's on the 10th floor. Uh, so the views are excellent. The characters are so the, cute. Yeah, I was going to get to that. Like the restaurant itself is really nice, elegant, but then the characters just really super cute with what they're wearing and how they're interacting. And then they came out twice and I tried to get, get it both times. I got as much of it as I could, but they come out singing and dancing and the music is just so cute. So yeah, I've really, really yeah. enjoyed that. And the food was really good. So you got the waffles. What did you think of the waffles? They were really good. Um, I didn't eat all of it because I I got sick about last night and um, just don't have much of an appetite. But the food was, it was really, really, really good. Very well prepared. Yeah. I yeah. just couldn't eat it. And for me, I had the quiche gruyere, however you pronounce that. I don't know about it, whatever. But the quiche. Um, and it came with these uh, p uh, roasted potatoes, just really, really good. And then, of course, yeah, I had to finish her waffles because, you know, waffles. Um, and like we said before, it's a prefix menu. I think when our bill came, it was under $100 before tip, which I don't think that's too bad for a Disney character meal. Yeah, it was 92 total. I mean, each, each table gets a plate of pastries, and I won't tell you how this is presented. You'll see it in pictures and, and in the video. Um, but you get pastries brought to the table. You get... You you know a drink and then you get your plated meal and everything's brought to you it's not a buffet where you have to drag yourself over there i don't know i was very impressed they do a cute little song and dance yeah Ugh. yeah so all and not where all the little children run around the restaurant this is just the characters right yeah at the end the uh, second time that they did it right as we were leaving mickey was dancing with a little girl at one of the tables there uh but she was just standing by her own table and he was kind of interacting yeah. with her and then bowed to her when the song was over so that was really cute uh so overall the resort itself i mean we're going to stay here later on this year so we can do you know we'll do a more much more detailed tour of the resort yeah and today we were just room. focusing on just a general um view of the resort and then of course the character meal because that's what we, that's what we came for and you were talking to ariane about the lobby and the lobby is small i guess the thought was that with something that's supposed to be this elegant and grand that the lobby would be bigger but i'm thinking that perhaps maybe it is designed like a hotel in the italian riviera so that's why they made the lobby smaller and just focused on it being very right. elegant um and then you know everything else with it um and the other thing i want to mention is the service was excellent it was so marissa <coughs> was our waitress Server. And uh, it was just this, the way she was acting and, and speaking and the way she carried herself. And uh, another, what Molly ate here and then who else ate here? Um, well, Sulin and Caroline. Oh, and so they Caroline's all did. So daughter, Andy, we have a lot of friends who have dined here, and, and they all liked it too. Right? Yeah, and they all said the same thing about the service that it seemed like it was really elegant and really top notch. So I think that perhaps they are trying to just make sure that everything is above the A level, like A plus level for everything that they want to present here and do here. So, and I'll say one more thing before we end this. Don't go to Chef Mickey's. <laughs> that place is, I'm sorry, it's dirty, it's disgusting. I get it if you want to meet the Fab Four or Fab Five. Well, five, Fab this five. doesn't have Goofy. I, I get but. that, um, but the food is subpar. The service is always horrible. And I mean, the restaurant is so dirty, just you feel sticky after you've eaten there. And we've done it enough times that you can trust us on that. Spend a little extra money and go to Tobolino's. First class, excellent, excellent character meal. And you we'll get be to, back. Yeah, and you get to see Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy. Um, or was Pluto? What, no. what else is that Chef Mickey's? Chef, Pluto or Mi Goofy? That, Chef Mickey's is Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Gotcha. Okay. So, the Fab Five. Yeah. So it's a little Duh. different than here, but whatever. I Yeah, I agree. I mean, forget Chef Mickey's come here. It's much better. So that's that. So anyway. All yeah. right. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Probably not because we're the ones who ate the food, but still <laughs> it was good. It was so good. I really liked this place and I like the restaurant. I like the food. I like the characters. So definite thumbs up from me. And me. And you. And me. And me and you thumbs up. All right. Well, we will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.
Hope you feel better, Jen. <coughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>